Greece is to issue its first sovereign bonds in four years on Thursday, as the country seeks to send a message to the financial world that it's putting its debt crisis behind it. The announcement by the finance ministry coincided with another general strike against austerity measures. In the union sites, as well as the Greek government, foreign creditors, including Germany, whose Chancellor Angela Merkel is due to visit Athens on Friday. The 24-hour stoppage called by two unions, one from the private and one from the public sector, closed schools and disrupted hospitals, ferry services and public transport. One of the strike organisers said, while the government boasts about the country's return to the capital markets, the reality is being felt by working people in Greece who are living in misery. People my age are either unemployed or work for 200 euros a month. Nothing will change unless this government goes. The coalition government can take solace that protests against austerity measures have waned. It's also managed to strike a deal with the international troika, securing further rescue loans after it passed more reforms last month. A correspondent in Athens says, with the Greek economy steadily improving over the past 12 months, the government is attempting a symbolic return to the capital markets by issuing sovereign bonds. But this seems to mean very little to the country's workers, who've been experiencing severe pay cuts amid unemployment that's over 27 percent.